Welcome to Reanimator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and today I'm going to be talking about House. So this was a movie that my father and also my friend Chase suggested to me, kind of like, hey, this sort of has your name written all over it. Have you seen this? And unfortunately at the time I had not, but after it being recommended two times, I had to see it. So I did order it off Amazon and got the Criterion Collection copy of it right here. It was, I think like 20 something, probably like 23. Not bad. I know that there are special features on here that I have not watched yet, just because at the time I watched it, my vision was pretty much just going straight down, and I was really lucky that I could still read subtitles at the time. So the movie opens up with seven friends that are in school about to go on their summer break, and they're all discussing what they're going to do. And the one girl's really excited that her dad's going to take her, you know, off to a nice vacation and everyone else is going to go hang out with a teacher at a training camp, which is kind of weird because they're all like really into this teacher, like really into this teacher. But Gorgeous, our main character's plans kind of get derailed when her dad, whom I think is a director, brings back this random woman that she's never met before and pretty much is like, hey, this is going to be your mom. And she was like, no, freaked out. Her mom had passed away and she hadn't seen her aunt, I think, in at least eight years. The last time she saw her was at her grandmother's funeral. So she decides in the efforts to reconnect with her mother, in a sense, that she's going to go visit her aunt and then promptly invites six of her friends, which is kind of weird. Like, I don't know, if I haven't seen a relative in a very long time, the last thing I'm going to be like... I want to talk about my mom, but like also here are all my friends that you're going to have to feed and be able to find somewhere for them to sleep. Kind of weird. But the aunt does accept and then randomly this white cat appears out of nowhere that she calls Blanche and she's super into this cat and this cat's kind of weird. All cats are kind of weird, but this one especially. There seems like there's something supernatural to her perhaps. So all the friends meet up back at school right before the break, and she's like, hey, we're all going to Auntie's house. So they all get on the train and go. For some reason, they still invite random said teacher who decides to drive his car there because he misses the train because he gets a bucket stuck to his ass, which was really strange and slapsticky, and I really did like that. That was funny. Like, it was so dumb, but it was funny. So... They arrive at the aunt's house, and then weirder and weirder things keep happening. The girls start to disappear. I'm not going to say which girls, because this is spoiler-free, but we learn that there is something really weird about this house, really weird about this aunt, and I'm going to leave it off there. So, my likes. This was one of the trippiest movies I've ever watched. The way it's shot is beautiful. Um, all the weird special effects are awesome. I really liked the practical effects in it. I really liked the weird, like, some of it made me think of Salvador Dali, just how bizarre things were cut and put together and, like, conveyed to the audience. It was really cool. I obviously really liked that the cat was, like, a main character in this, because I'm a big fan of cats, as you can see. And... You knew when the cat was around, things were going to get bizarre, and it never failed. My dislikes about this movie. Um, the relationships between the girls were pretty weird. I don't know if that's just a cultural thing, being I'm American. Like, okay, kind of strange, but maybe that's how it was. I think this is a 70s movie. I'm like 98% sure it's a 70s movie. Can't check that right now because I can't see, but, um... Some of the music choices were strange, but to add a like to that, there was a ongoing theme that would play throughout the movie that reminded you that this is a horror movie, and when you hear this music, some weird stuff is going to happen. So overall, I really did enjoy this movie. This was awesome. Everyone that was, you know, saying that it had my MO all over it, you were right. Good call. You know me. Uh, I give this... I. I feel like this deserves a solid four out of five. I will recommend this movie to everyone. 
I know it's not everyone's cup of tea. They might not get it. They might not appreciate it for what it is, but it is solid. It is a good movie. It is really weird, and I really, really liked it. So as I said, I found this on Amazon. I got it on Prime, not sponsored. I got the Criterion Collection copy. I don't know if it's really available for streaming anywhere else, but I will definitely put that in the description box down below if I do find out. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. Leave a comment down below. Have you seen this movie? Have you seen movies that remind you of this movie? Because I would also like to watch those. I like really weird movies, obviously. If you're here, you know that, hopefully. Um, like the video if you did like the video. And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified of all my future uploads and live streams. You can also find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews and Instagram and Twitter at Reanimator. And I hope you give this movie a check out. It's definitely worth it. Let me know what you think.